In an extraordinary turn of events, Kane encounters Yuya, the legendary hero who sealed the leader of evil over 300 years ago. The leader of evil was the one who killed Kane's parents, so how did he accomplish that, and who is the leader of evil? Can Kane defeat him, even though Yuya, the legendary hero, couldn't kill him? Let's explore these events together now. Kane ventured into this strange world where he found this person preparing coffee. Kane was puzzled by the existence of coffee in this world. The person told him that they have known each other for a long time. Curious, Kane asked for more details, and the other person revealed that he is the first legendary king who ruled the land for over 300 years. Kane was very scared, thinking that he might be a ghost, but Yuya reassured him to confirm it himself. Kane opened his case and read its contents, surprised by how someone could have gone through so much time and still be in their prime. He wondered why this man summoned him, and the king explained that the old Xenom requested him to train Kane. Kane replied, I am already strong and don't need training. I have trained a lot before. At that moment, the king told him, You have to take this biscuit from me, and I will reveal your true power. As Kane reached for the biscuit, a sword was placed against his neck. The path ahead of him was still long. The king also informed him that he needs to train even more because there is someone waiting for him to fight. This person has been around for 300 years, causing people all over the world to fight and kill each other. Discord has spread across the world, accompanied by terror and corruption. Brothers are killing each other, and fathers are killing their sons. He implanted certain things in their subconscious minds and distributed them throughout the world. This person is the leader of evil, Aaron. Yuya then continued his speech, stating that he and others managed to seal him 300 years ago, but recently, the seal has started to weaken. If they don't seal him again, a new leader of evil will emerge, and Yuya will have no choice but to seal him once more. And now the matter relies on the cane. He quickly took him to train in the middle of the ocean and gave him a big sword to train with. He also gave him a compass that would determine the direction of movement, specifically pointing to the home he came from. He had to train a lot because his level was below average, only 300 newtons. He needed to reach at least 600 newtons to have a chance to fight the leader of evil. This would take some time, but he couldn't use the teleportation ability. That was not allowed for him. Then he left Kane and disappeared, but he returned to him again and emphasized that he had to be up to this task because he relied on him, Kane. At that time, he had no choice but to accept. He started entering the forest and fighting big monsters. He was incredibly powerful, fighting fiercely and mercilessly, whether they were big or small, strong or weak. Now let's go to Kane's country. They were very worried about him because he hadn't reached home yet. They kept wondering what happened to him. Was he kidnapped or killed? But then a girl told them that he was fine because he was very strong, and they relied on him greatly. Now let's go to Cain. He was grabbed by a big monster that wanted to devour him, but Cain destroyed it at the last moment. At that point, Cain lost consciousness completely. He hadn't slept for over a month and was exhausted and unable to move. He heard someone screaming for help, and he stood up to see what was happening in that place, and it was you who found that dog in pain, barking from the intensity of the pain. He wanted to kill the dog, but he remembered at the last moment that he had suffered like this dog in the past, and these girls wanted him to protect it. Then Cain treated the dog wholeheartedly with all the power he had left, and after that, he lost consciousness again and fell into a deep sleep. But the dog was a loyal animal and defended him with all its strength, fighting one monster after another. After that, the dog ran towards Cain, very happy to be with him, and Cain knew that this dog was alone and asked him to join him on the long journey. The dog was delighted with this news, and Cain named him Haku. Then they set off again, and at night, Cain prepared dinner, and they went to sleep. In the morning, they continued their long journey, and after several days, Cain and the dog arrived at Yuya's house. But Cain had grown up so much. It had been four years since King Yuya left him, and four years in the other world felt like four days. So, Cain was absent from his world for only four days. Yuya told him that the creature with him was not an ordinary dog, it was a powerful sacred beast. He could also make a contract with it to be with him forever and summon him whenever he wanted. At that point, the dog disappeared, but Yuya told him he could bring him back anytime by saying, Come, Haku. But I have to tell you something, 
Your training is not over. You will now train under the wing of this man, your new teacher, Durain. Then Cain introduces himself and they both go to the training location. The trainer, Dara, informs Cain that he is currently not strong enough and that Yuya is stronger than him. Cain uses his special power and attacks Dara, but he is incredibly fast and dodges Cain's strike. Then Dara lands a blow to Cain's abdomen, causing him to lose consciousness. He carries Cain and takes him to his house. Hakul wakes him up, and he comes downstairs to find Dara's wife checking on him and his well being. He assures her that he is fine, and she tells him to wait as she prepares food for him immediately. Suddenly, he notices a baby dragon descending quickly, excited to meet him and become friends. Hakul becomes jealous and knocks Cain to the ground. Afterwards, Dara's wife asks them to stop fighting, or else they won't get any food. She places the meal on the table, and Cain expresses his gratitude. He starts eating hungrily and tears up because it has been a long time since he had such high-quality food. He compares the treatment he receives to being in his homeland and hopes that everyone can enjoy delicious food as well. Moving on to Princess Tailey's Sama and Silk Sama, they are very worried about Cain and inform us that the knights are searching for him. They suggest that we do what we can while waiting for his return, wanting him to be happy when he comes back to their land. Sylvia suggests that they work on preparing bread since the road to mastering cooking is long and challenging, and the path to mastering desserts is also long and challenging. She mentions that they haven't made anything that pleases Cain in this way before. Then, we shift back to Cain with his trainer, and we notice that Cain is making good progress and improving his skills. The teacher tells him that when he started his training, he couldn't even return home, and a whole year has passed since then. His powers have developed, but the teacher is still much stronger. Cain attacks with all his strength, but the teacher easily knocks him down and says, Yuya is stronger than me and Aaron. After that, Cain and the teacher go to Yuya, and Cain asks Yuya to tell him about Aaron and his previous life. Yuya explains that Aaron was one of the wise men, known as the Eighth Sage, and there are no games or entertainment in Cain's world because Aaron, the entertainer, was expelled from the wise men. However, if he were to return, the deadly game would start again, and it would target everyone dear to Cain's heart. Cain expresses his reluctance and asks his teacher how he can stop Aaron. The teacher tells him to become stronger and gain more power to protect his loved ones. The teacher, Yuya, tells him that there is something he wants to tell him. He reveals that in the past, he was unable to protect his friends, including Shina and Zuya, from the friends he failed to protect, who happened to be his parents. He recalls these sad and painful memories when he and his parents were summoned by the girl who called them to this place, asking them to go and see the changes happening in this world themselves. They meet with the seven sages and inform them that Aaron is the cause of the changes they are witnessing. However, the seven sages are unable to intervene directly, so it is up to them, the heroes, to bring peace to this world. Afterward, they move on to confront Aaron, the leader of evil, using the Hellfire incantation against him, but it has no effect whatsoever. Aaron then launches a powerful attack on them, and his father, Cain, gets injured in the process. The girl who summoned them before uses her healing magic, but it doesn't work at all, so Kanzuya promises that Aaron won't get away with what he did. Aaron launches a strong attack, and Yuya calls on him to seal him quickly with the stone. Now we shift to Kane, who is training with his master and remembering all the memories that Yuya told him. He gets angry and declares his determination to protect people who cared about him and help those in need. They launch a powerful attack against his trainer, breaking his sword and defeating him. Cain thanks his trainer for everything he has done for him and then goes to call his mother and father, informing them that he is heading to the place where they were buried. Yuya tells him that this place is where his parents rested, as they were always concerned about him, even while preparing for the final battle against Aaron. Cain becomes deeply saddened and falls to the ground, thanking his parents for always thinking of him, and he bursts into tears, expressing his gratitude to Yuya for taking care of his parents. Then Yuya tests him again by offering him a piece of biscuit, and this time he manages to take it. Cain tells the teacher that he has become stronger, and the teacher responds by saying that he didn't do anything, Cain achieved it through his hard work and guidance. The teacher suggests they go and enjoy a delicious coffee, 
but Cain refuses because he must hurry back to his world. The teacher tells him to wait since he has been here for five years now, surprising Cain with this revelation. Will he return in his current form? Cain is shocked by this. Then the teacher returns him to his previous state and tells him to take Haku with him. The trainer, Durain, tells him to also take their little one to see that big world. Kane thanks the teachers for taking care of him for a long time and then the teacher, Yuya, asks him to visit him later and gives him the sword to deliver to the current king. He bids them farewell and goes to the big world. The two teachers talk to each other and believe that Kane will become stronger than both of them. Yuya confirms this because he has something greater to protect, something that protects him more than they do, referring to his daughters. Afterward, Kane goes to the break room and finds that all the girls are extremely worried about him, rushing to hug him. Sylvia says, the two princesses believed that you would return. While we were waiting, we asked Sylvia to teach us how to make your favorite biscuit, and we prepared it especially for you. They all devour it together, and Kane tells them that it's delicious. They all warmly welcome him back. And with that, episode 9 comes to an end. Stay tuned for the next episode, but before you leave the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to receive updates on everything new.